Uh, welcome back guys. I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, I installed uh, Ubuntu Mate and I deliberately picked the 14.10 version. And the reason I did that is because I installed this on a uh, machine on a computer that has uh, Intel onboard graphics. So the motherboard has an HD 46, I'm sorry, the, uh, the CPU has HD 4600 um, onboard graphics as part of the CPU chip. So uh, I don't have a, a, a separate uh, graphics card in this computer. So I'm running the uh, onboard or the integrated graphics. Now their Intel provides uh, graphics drivers for the uh, for their onboard graphics but I've only found it available for the Ubuntu 1410 version it will not work with 1404 or 1504 and so what I did was I installed it and I'll show you the file uh, let's see you see this Intel graphics installer for Linux okay that's the package and I installed it and you can see that it goes through and checks to see if the distribution is 1410 and if it is it will go ahead and install which I, I've already installed it so I'm not going to install it again um, this is available from a website called 01.org and they have uh, Intel graphics downloads uh, again that's 01 www.01.org okay so I installed it into my machine because I wanted the um, benefit of the Intel graphics drivers that are only usable currently on 1410 if you try to install this on anything other than an Ubuntu, any variation, any Ubuntu variation, as long as it's 1410, it will install. And it'll upgrade your graphics driver. The reason I wanted to do that is I I, I would like to install Battle.net, uh, the Blizzard uh, game website. So I would like to install that and the only way to do that I believe with this system is to have the upgraded graphics so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the process of installing Battle.net on this computer using the integrated graphics and see um, whether that installs properly so the first step is going to be to make sure I have two different programs. I need Wine and I need Play on Linux. So I'm going to open up a terminal and I'm going to install I'm going to install Wine first. So that's going to take a little bit. It's going to take a little bit uh, to get that installed. So I'm going to let it go through the process. I will pause the video and I'll be back with you shortly. Okay, so that has finished installing. Now I'm going to install Play on Linux. And that shouldn't this one shouldn't take too long, but 
it's the second part of the process that will take a little bit longer so that's done and I'm gonna close my terminal window now in games I see play on Linux so we're gonna open that and it's gonna need to refresh um, it's gonna need to refresh it's gonna need to go all the way to a hundred so I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back with you right now it's loading all of the various programs to make them available for install so I'll be right back with you okay so that's finished uh, refreshing and the the uh, game that I want specifically is hearthstone so there is Hearthstone. I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to click install. And it's just giving you some generic uh, instructions. Leave the default location and don't don't tick the checkbox run the program if asked. And it's telling me that Hearthstone is currently in testing so it might not work as expected. So we're going to give it a try. So now it's going to go through the process and it's going to download all of the uh, files that it needs. Now it, it's, it's actually installing its own version of Wine, but uh, when you use Play on Linux, you need to have the base Wine system installed. And that's down here now. That was the first thing I installed. So Play on Linux looks to see if you have Wine on your system, and it helps if you do prior to loading Play on Linux. So now it's creating a virtual uh, drive, and it's telling me that it needs some packages that are not installed. So it's asking me to, uh, to let uh, Play on Linux install those, so I will. And it's going to go through the install procedure. Now, some of this takes a little bit of time, but I'm going to leave the video on because uh, there are various things that pop up. Now, this is going to go through a uh, install process. It, it it's it's fairly quick. It's not not too lengthy, but uh, actually, this is only the beginning. It's uh, it's got a few more steps to go through. So I'm going to pause the video while this finishes loading. I'll be I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys. Now <clears throat> it finished the uh, the install um, of that mono uh, the Wine mono program, and now it's asking to install Adobe Flash. So I'm going to agree to that. Let it install Adobe Flash. Now it's going to ask me to designate my language and now it is actually installing BattleNet and hopefully that will work now I'm gonna add a desktop shortcut and it's going to go through the install procedure for Battle.net. Okay, so we need to sign in to Battle.net. Now you'll need to make an account. and you need to select your region and we will log in so now it's going through the Hearthstone in installation it should pop up a website the um, the, the, the website uh, game uh, page and now I'm starting the install it's telling me we couldn't find any Blizzard games on your system so we're gonna close that 
now it's going through it's downloading Hearthstone as you can see so it brought up the li the listing of Battle.net games from the Blizzard website and now it is going through the inst installation of Hearthstone and you can install any one of these games uh, as long as you now Diablo you have to have the game disc but World of Warcraft there is a demo that you can install Starcraft same thing Heroes of the Storm same thing and Overwatch is new I'm not sure what that's about but um, without any discs you can install Heroes of the Storm Hearthstone Starcraft 2 and World of Warcraft so I'm gonna pause the video uh, while this goes through the rest of the procedure okay so it basically installed the game <clears throat> and now it's patching it's installing the latest patch now when this is finished it's gonna allow me to play the game you see that um, but the one of the things I want to do is it it looks like it did not uh, install the icon the hearthstone launcher on my desktop and so we need to make sure that's done so I'm gonna click install is done well actually I'm not I'm gonna click cancel then I'm going to click on configure I'm gonna click on hearthstone make a new shortcut and I'm going to do hearthstone.exe that's the name of it there's the launcher and we will see if that launches the game I double clicked it and now this should be fine because you will see the screen pop open so make sure you make sure that that hearthstone a uh, launcher is on your desktop because if you close out play on Linux without seeing that you'll have to go through the install again okay so I'm gonna close out play on Linux I have my icon here also my la my launcher so I'm gonna close that out I still have my game up now I'm gonna go ahead and close it I'm gonna exit the application I just want to make sure that this uh, shortcut on my desktop will actually reopen I don't have anything open as far as Hearthstone right now double click and then once it shows that large screen it's gonna to boot to the main screen now as you can see if I click on Heroes of the Storm I can install it if I click on Starcraft I can install it uh, but I've already got Hearthstone installed so let's see what it looks like I'm not sure if you'll hear the audio it is said that wars are only one of okay, so I'm gonna click on the screen. Busy night, but there's always room for another. And this is actually the game, so I'm going to configure my options. Welcome, aspirants, to the grand uh, tournament. Let's do something first. We're, go we're not gonna run it full screen. We're gonna run it in a window. And I'm gonna do us. Uh, Let's see. Let's do 16, 1440 by 9. Okay, so 
and then I'm going to lower the volume of the music remove sound and background and I it says enable challenging nearby players friends list I don't do that so um, so that's the way I want it then I'm gonna click on resume and just click on anything so now it's gonna say play and there it goes running perfectly so I'm gonna cancel this out and I'm going to I'm going to quit and I'm gonna close out so there you go guys that's the hearthstone installation on Ubuntu uh, any for a uh, 1410 if you have integrated graphics the HD 4600 or the HD 4000 um, you can download the upgraded graphics as long from Intel and that website is 01.org uh, you can download the upgraded graphics directly from uh, that's produced by Intel um, and it's provided on the 01.01.org website you can download the uh, upgrade graphics program install the upgraded graphics to your 1410 install as long as you have the onboard graphics and then that will enable you to load uh, Battle.net games and you'll be able to play them on your Ubuntu Mate system at 1410 now I tried 1504 uh, Ubuntu Mate 1504 uh, Battle.net would not run because Intel doesn't make the upgraded graphics drivers for the 1504 yet. Only the 1410. So that's why I installed Ubuntu Mate 1410. That enables me to load the Intel upgraded graphics drivers and run the uh, Blizzard games. So I hope that would, was helpful to you guys. If you enjoyed it, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Take care.